Hey everyone, welcome back to day. Uh, who am I? Who am I? I don't do this. I don't know. I'm just having my morning tea, and you know what I was thinking? I've never made springtime cakeies, and I think today's the day. So in this video, you're gonna learn how to make snickerdoodle cookies, tie-dyed vanilla cake, marshmallow filling, coconut macaroon filling, and meringue. You can combine all those recipes to make springtime cakeies like I'm doing today, or you can just pick whatever your favorite recipe is and make that. The beauty of cakeies is it's not just a treat, it's an activity you can do it with your kids, with your friends, you can set up a whole cakey bar and everyone can design and decorate their own cakey and eat it too. Have your cakey and eat it too. I'm starting with the meringue because I need to bake it really low uh, for a little while, let it cool before I can crumble it up. So I'm gonna start off by doing that. To make the Italian meringue, it's just like when I make buttercream, we're just gonna skip the butter. So the first thing you need to do is put water and sugar in a pot. Get that on the stove top to boil and you're gonna bring it up to 240 degrees. In the meanwhile, you're gonna put your egg whites in the bowl of your stand mixer with a whip and when your sugar mixture reaches 230, that's when you're gonna to start to mix your egg whites, whip them up nice and light and fluffy. And then when your sugar's ready, we're gonna slowly pour it into the egg white to create the meringue and you'll just whip it until peaks form. And then at that point, we're gonna stop we're gonna color it pretty colors, spread it out on a tray, and bake it. The meringue is done. Ah, look at that little bit. I'm gonna leave some of it white, so I'm gonna put it on the tray. And then I'm gonna color some of it pink. I think I'll color the rest yellow. Adding a drop of gel color. Gel color is great because it's really concentrated and therefore you don't need as much. You definitely don't want to add a liquid food coloring to meringue. I'm gonna spread the meringue. Yep. Yeah. Look at it, it's, oh, now it's not getting super spready. I should have spread it from the start. Oh, yo. So now we're gonna make our marshmallow filling. What we need to do is just drop these sheets into the cold water, and this will allow the gelatin to bloom. This is how marshmallow is made? Yes, you're gonna get to watch it. Ooh. I always assumed marshmallow grows on a tree. Um, I'm sorry, what? I wanna go to a park, fill a tree with marshmallows, like Walter, <laughs> and we can go pick marshmallows on the marshmallow tree. And now in a saucepan, we're gonna combine our other ingredients. So I have water, clear corn syrup, and of course a pinch of salt, just for some flavor. So now I'm gonna take this to the stovetop, and we're gonna bring it to 240 degrees. Okay, so now I'm going to whip this up. I'm gonna start the mixer slowly and work my way to high speed, and it's gonna create a fluffy meringue. I've never heard this sound. You can do it, you can make marshmallow. Sticky. Oh boy. Not as smooth as scraping down cake batter. I don't think that scrape down really helped, but I feel better. So I'm gonna continue to whip this and I'm going to add the melted bloomed gelatin. Should I just dump it all in? I just, I like this. You can't do that with buttercream. Are you ready, Shuchi? It's very anticlimactic, it's not that much. All right? That's it. That's it. Okay, time to add the vanilla. Okay, so here we have it. So this is normally what you would put in a pan and let it set and it would become marshmallow. I'm gonna put it in the cakeys like this and then it'll be like a ooey gooey surprise. I like this, guys. Ugh. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> so I'm filling half my cakeys with the homemade marshmallow fluff and half of them with this coconut macaroon filling. It's very simple. It's just shredded unsweetened coconut and sweetened condensed milk mixed together. That's the easiest recipe ever on how to cake. You know, two ingredients. It's a beginner recipe. 
This is beginner. <laughs> I'm gonna keep having like flashbacks to the beginning of the episode where you said this is a beginner cake. <laughs> this is a beginner cake. cake, cake. Beginner, beginner, beginner. <laughs> Getting more and more complicated. Each I made my snickerdoodle cookies yesterday. It's a very simple recipe with easy to find ingredients, butter, brown sugar, sugar, flour, baking powder, eggs, all the usuals. And then you're just making this simple dough, chill it, roll it into balls, and then you toss it in a cinnamon sugar mixture before baking it. You wanna press the balls down just a little to keep them all even, sprinkle more cinnamon sugar on top, and then let them bake. So here they are. And when you're making cakeies, you always wanna look at the measurement of your cookies in order to cut your cake circle. I also made my cake ahead of time. Well, Helena made it for me. So it's my ultimate vanilla cake, and then she dyed some of it pink, some of it purple or lavender, and then she did the whole tie-dye technique. It's really simple. You just keep dolloping your batter into the pan, overlapping, and then you use a bamboo skewer to swirl the batter, bake it, and this is what you get in the reveal. Cutting. So now I'm gonna simple syrup these cake rounds and then I'm gonna cut out the secret chamber. The reason I'm not cutting out the chamber first is I don't want simple syrup to just pool in the center. You know what I mean? I'm not creating mini swimming pools today. You create large ones. Yes, that was a giant cake. There we go, I'm gonna let that soak in before I cut the chambers and now it's time to like I say, marry up the cookies. So you want the two cookies on either end of your cakey to be relatively the same size. It'll make it easier to ice and it will look nice and even. Snickerdoodle matchmaker. I think that's a reality show. Uh-oh, this one might not find a match. It's a tense episode. Oh, just in the nick of time. Not a lot of cookies left. Are these two a match? <gasps> like it was meant to be. So now we're gonna move on to cutting the secret chambers. It's using smaller circle cutters. You wanna cut out enough cake that there's room for the delicious filling, but you don't wanna cut out so much cake that the cake ring will be too thin and the cakey will feel unstable. So there we go. We've got our cookies, our cookie couples. We've got our cake circles with secret chambers cut out. So now all we have to do is get our fillings and I'm gonna glue it all together with some colored compound chocolate. Oh yeah. I'm back on the mess. I'm back in the mess, Orhan. How did I do this? Go, let go. Um, so we're back to more civilized territory. <laughs> I'm enjoying this coconut macaroon filling. Just look how nice it acts, not stuck to the spoon. I'm feeling, ah! I ran out of chocolate. Now it's time to color some buttercream for the cakeies. That's what's going to surround the cake in the cookies, keep them moist, and make them look like an ice cream sandwich. So normally I use my Italian meringue buttercream, but today I'm gonna use buttercream from Color Mill as well as colors, oil-based colors from Color Mill because they sent me all this great stuff. I will be at SoFlo this coming weekend doing a demo with their products. So I have it on set, so I'm just gonna use it. I mean. Birds chirping. Insert birds chirping, for real. Where did the yellow go? I didn't like the way it looked. It got too beige. Looks, this, this color would be good on like a coffee tea. Thing. Yeah. Right? Okay, so now I have all my toppings laid out, and this is what I mean about cakeies being an experience. Think about it, you could have a party, you can have your cakeies prepared like this. You know I like to put my buttercream in a piping bag, pipe it around, and then smooth it with a spatula. Hey, look at this. Doesn't it look like I piped butter? So first up, 
toasted coconut. So what you wanna do is hold it like a, well, I guess you wouldn't hold a wheel, but pretend it's a wheel and roll it over. What should coconut be on? Not yellow. There? Here? Thanks for all your input, everyone. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the chocolate chip coconut. I really just put the shredded coconut to fill up any gaps. Oh yeah, I mean, this is the old school. Oh yeah, this one sounds good. And you can poke in a few, because it's very light. It doesn't necessarily wanna stick. Okay guys, there you have it. These are my springtime cakeies. Orhan, can you write like springtime cakeies on the pink backdrop? Like a beautiful title. Oh man, I can't believe this is time already. I got coconut. Mm, I feel like a springtime goddess right now. So let me just adjust for that. So this is me, the springtime cakey goddess, signing off. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll try to make this recipe. Oh, I mean at least make the cookies because hello, and I will see you next week. Cut so I can eat the rest of this.